This is Martin Peterson, executive editor of Metropolis Magazine, here for the first of our new Metropolis Minute videos in which we'll take a behind the scenes look at one of the compelling stories in the magazine. This month's cover story by contributing editor Suzanne Labar is on the elusive Argentine architect Emilio Ambas and we think it's a must read. Ambas is a rather curious phenomenon. He's probably one of the most influential architects in the world and he'll tell you so but you may not know him. You may or may not know his most famous building, the incredible Fukaawa Prefecture Hall in Japan. It's an incredible Gardens of Babylon type building with a series of stepped green roofs that step up into the sky. It was years ahead of its time in terms of fusing landscape and building together and it's a precursor for a lot of the green architecture we see today. Now Ambas has completed two new buildings in Venice, Italy, a hospital and a gorgeous research lab across the street. And of course Ambas being Ambas, the buildings are visually stunning, but they raise as many questions as they answer. And in her terrific piece, Suzanne Labar asks the ultimate question, who is Emilio Ambas? Is he as he claims the father of sustainability or is he a slave to form? Is he a structural poet or is he a bit of a con man? It's a fascinating, thought-provoking story, and it's only in the September issue of Metropolis Magazine, now on newsstands.